you know, kids are heading back to school and if you need something for them to do when the last bell of the day rings, this could be a great option for you here this morning. We welcome Omar Batson and Adrika Mosley from the Chosen Few Arts Council to talk all about their great after school program. Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to see you. Uh, you, uh, you know, We've had you on the show before, Omar. You have an inspiring story about wanting to give back to the community, yes. provides arts opportunities and much more. Tell us a little bit more about Chosen Few Arts Council and what you're up to. <laughs> um, what we're really doing is, um, we know the schools are starting right now, so it's kind of hard for them um, um, to really get things going with the kids to start it off and continue with them, you know, with getting their education together. So we try to have a good educational program. As soon as they get out of school, we make sure they do homework. And then we help them out with tutoring and things like that. Afterwards, we finally, you know, get into the different classes that we have, um, programs that we have. Uh, we have boxing. We have, um, I'm sorry, we don't have boxing. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You do have, you have a variety of well, it, activities, yeah, though. Phyllis. It is boxing down there. <laughs> Well, fill us in, Andrika. This is uh, where does this take place? So this takes place in our local community center in Burston. Yeah. Um, it's on North Saginaw. It's totally free for the kids to come in from the ages of five to seventeen years old. Um, we do have different activities such as karate, where they can actually earn their own belts. They got arts and crafts, drawing. We got drumming and other music that they can also do. Um, we also provide a place for them to study STEM so they can do technology and science as well. So yeah, we have we're different looking, activities. We're looking at some photos here and you know typically how many kids are you working with? Um, we typically have like close to 17 to 20 kids come in each day. Nice. Um, we're from Monday through Thursday and from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock and it's totally free for anybody to come in to sign in either through the building itself or they can actually sign it through our website. Well, that's yeah. incredible, again, to, to offer something free. And yeah. then, uh, you know, even if you don't have boxing, I know they're having a good time. What, <laughs> yeah. do you, what do you see firsthand with these young people? Why do you think they enjoy your program so much? Well, I think they really have fun, actually, with all the things that we do. Um, they actually have a chance to actually do the things they see on TV. Now, I think that's the big thing right there. A lot of things right now have gone out to schools and going away from our city. So there's not really a lot of things for the kids to enjoy. So we make sure they have a time, you know, a good time with themselves and stuff like that and uh, relate with other people in the neighborhood so they can meet other people also, you know, and um, we actually take them on field trips where they go to different organizations and uh, different programs and uh, sharing the things that they have also, you know. So. Very nice, very nice. Well, bottom line, uh, Adrika, this is making a difference, right? Yes, um, it provides a, um, a safe place to try new things that probably wouldn't be able to try in the neighborhood. Um, along with that, they get to meet more people who probably is in their field that they really like. So if they're into drawing, we have somebody to help them practice that sure. and foster their interest in it. So it's a pretty safe place for them to well, grow. Well, we certainly uh, applaud you for what you're doing there with the Chosen Few Arts Council. Uh, again, sign up now. You see the information on your screen. That uh, program, as you heard, runs there starting September 3rd. It's all from 4 to 7 p.m. there at Burston Fieldhouse in Flint. You can go to chosenfewarts.org to learn more information. And thanks for what you're doing. Uh, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you, you very much. much.